Hey, it's Lauren. Thank you so much for being here. For this video today, I am doing a rose product roundup. Pretty much what it sounds like. Gathered up all of these different rose themed, rose centered, various rose parts containing products that I own. This video was inspired actually by a recent purchase that I made from Trader Joe's. This guy, the Rose Facial Oil and the Rose Water Facial Toner. These guys have been like a quick cult classic. I follow a variety of different beauty blogs, especially like beauty things on Instagram, and people have been like hunting these things down. There's been like in and out of stock. So I've known about these for a while and just haven't seen them at my Trader Joe's. And there's like a big display of these guys when I got in there. So I, I picked them up. They're only a couple bucks. I've only used these a couple of times, so I can't speak too much about their effectiveness, but they were nice. This is a rose water toner and it has uh, witch hazel and is it alcohol free? I believe it's alcohol free, but it does have um, fragrance as the last ingredient. But I've used this a couple of times, felt nice. It's a nice rose scent. And then the rose oil, I've used this also a couple times since I picked it up. I only got these things like less than a week ago from Trader Joe's. But this I think is, it has rose hip oil in it, but it's not based in rose hip. Yeah, the uh, base oil is sunflower and then there's like coconut and safflower and then you have the rose hip, but it has a nice blend of various oils. It's got neem in it, which is really good for acne. It's got kakuya in it. So, you know, it has quite a variety and it does have some sea buckthorn, even though that's at the end of the list. But these are both like only a couple of dollars and they're like cult items. So yeah, I've been liking those and that inspired today's video pretty much. Rose is like one of those plants that's used in a lot of different like parts of its plant and you see it everywhere you know it's like fragrance and all different kinds of things but you see the like rose water, rose flower water, you have rose oil, rose essential oil, rose hip, rose hips. <laughs> um, so there's like a lot of different like parts parts and parcels of rose. So I'm not necessarily gonna dive into like what all the different functions of those things do. Each thing kind of has its different qualities, but like some things like rose hip oil is known to be really high in vitamin A. So it's used a lot as like nighttime thing and uh, uh, anti-aging and then rose in general is supposed to be like very anti-inflammatory and like soothing and healing so that's like the most brief of brief over rose but yeah I'm just gonna talk about product as I usually do and like to do because I am a product junkie so if you are a product junkie then you are in the right place and if you like rose you are in the right place. I'm gonna start actually with a item I haven't talked about before on my channel. This is from Love, Beauty, and Planet. This is a brand that reached out to me and sent me a couple of these body washes and some hair care, and they're carried at places like CVS and Target. They're pretty affordable. I thought this was gonna be like a $10, $15, like $20 wash or something like that, and when I saw all the stuff at Target recently, it was like in the five to nine range, so that's pretty cool. This is a very milky, like silky, almost lotion feeling body wash. You pump it out and you're like, oh, like, is this gonna be a lotion? It doesn't necessarily like suds up. It does get a little bit slippy. It's really nice to shave with and it smells lovely. It smells like roses. I believe all of these, like the bottles that this product comes in are like eco-friendly. That's kind of like their thing, or they love beauty and they love the planet, hence that part in, in the name. This was recently on my channel. I think at least in a haul, I'm not sure if I put it in a skincare video or whatnot, but this is the Fresh Rose Hydration Facial Toner. So this has a lot of different like parts of rose. It even has like rose petals in it. And this is a wonderfully hydrating toner. I like to use this where I splash it in my hands and then like press it into my skin. It's more of that type of toner that gives like a plumpness. It's not so lotion-y like the sort of Japanese and French pharmacy uh, toners can be, but it's still along that kind of style where it's almost like a watery 
essence and if you want to like really plump up your skin you can just do a bunch of layers padded in with this and you'll you'll get you'll get that look from this it's really nice so two things from pixie this is the rose caviar essence and the rose flash balm the rose caviar essence kind of goes after toners or after cleansers in between things and this is more of a like thicker like goopy kind of jelly style essence it's not on that more watery spectrum that you see a lot or even like um that milky style you see it's almost like on the ampule side of things if you've ever tried an ampule i really enjoyed layering with this guy i think it layers well with other products and building on top of itself hydrates really well and gives like again nice plump skin and it sinks in pretty fast this is a nice sort of mid-range like upper drugstore mid-range option you can get at places like target and i think even now at urban outfitters and then the rose flash balm this is another one of the rose themed products from pixie they have quite a few now and this is one of their like multi-purpose items so you can use it as a moisturizer as a primer and as a mask and i've used it as all three it's pretty good layered under makeup i don't necessarily see that it elongates anything but doesn't make anything separate goes on really nice something i have to be careful with though to not go too heavy-handed because it can be kind of rich feeling and even smelling but it makes a nice uh, moisturizer you can thin it out so it could work for kind of like all seasons it'd be a good kind of multi-use product to bring with you uh, if you're traveling so you get like a hydrating mask in there like a sleeping mask a moisturizer and a and a primer all in one so that's pretty cool another moisturizer that i have been testing out recently this is the herbivore pink cloud rose water moisture cream i got this guy a while ago and just started dipping into it but it is so interesting it kind of has a texture similar to like a snack pack like a pudding snack pack it is a lightweight like the pharmacy one but feels completely different sinks in really easily this i can see myself like really reaching more for as it gets hotter out kind of came out around the winter time like dead of winter and this probably wouldn't have been like enough for me then or i'd really have to layer it with so if you're a layerer this would be good but i think coming into the summer this has like such a night like a nice light like cloud-like effervescence hence the um pink cloud name but sinks in really well i'm sure i've already said that i'm getting redundant at this point but lovely weird texture so this is a mini of the live botanical luna renewing concentrate with rose and chia this is based in chia seed and has a really lovely nice blend of various oils like it's got camilla jojoba rose hip chamomile sea buckthorn and different things and it is definitely more of like a bomb kind of consistency sinks in really well though and i have loved using this at night it doesn't have like too strong of a scent it's definitely more of a sweet scent than any of these which are very like you can smell the rose in there but this just has like a nice healthy dose of rosehip oil along with a variety of other very like antioxidant rich oils so it's really nice for using at night sinks in really well this mini is like kind of mid-range and then the full size is like 60 dollars. but i could totally see myself like investing in the full size somewhere down the line because i've really liked the results i've seen uh, using this at night on a very much more affordable side of things this is the heritage store rose water and glycerin spray i don't even know how many of these i have purchased over the years i've tried other rose sprays and they're really nice but this one it's so simple so affordable no frills really great hydrating you know it's got a bunch of glycerin in there yeah just a, a thing i go back to time and time again really great like 
budget friendly item. This is the Jin Soon Pixie Nail Dew, I think is what it's called. It is a sheer like rose tinted coat that is rose scented. It actually smells really good for a nail polish. Usually nail polish is like terrible, but this is like masked with a nice bit of rose and it's a sheer wash. I don't have it on my fingers right now, but if you want the look of bare nails, but like healthy bare nails, the like slight pink tint to this really gives that. It's like a little bit of like a feminine edge, but it's like looks super, super healthy and nice. And it also makes a really nice like base or a uh, top coat. I've used this thing so much. I think this was like their summer launch last year and they had like a couple other kind of like tinted sheer things, but this one was my favorite. It's beautiful. And then these are two rose <laughs> lip balms I absolutely love. This is the Erin Rose Lip Conditioner and it is a nice thick balmy texture and it does have like a tiny pink like almost shimmer cast to it, nothing too strong really hydrates the lips though. This guy is stupid <laughs> expensive. I got a little mini like as a Sephora sample points perk a while back, loved it. And then this was part of the Vogue Birch Box like collaboration box that they did last year that was all rose themed and just really awesome. It was completely, it was completely worth the price. You got some great items in there and this is one of them. So this really helped like push me over the edge of purchasing that box because I just wanted this. It's really nice. It's like luxurious, really nice thing to have around. I use it quite often. And then uh, this is also a really luxurious lip balm. This was sent to me. This is by Emily Corden and they sent me two of their cashmere lip pop cashmere lip pots and this is the rose champagne one or rose champagne the number one lisa and this is a really nice multi-purpose balm so you know use it on the lips you can use it on cuticles i wouldn't recommend using it on the face but you can use it to tame brows and things like that it's just really nice really luxurious i usually keep this on my vanity and then i have a cocoa one that they sent as well that i keep on my on my nightstand so i love i love that guy so i wanted to mention these but i didn't want to talk about them for too long since i have done a cleanser collection and cleansing balm collection video uh, pretty recently i'll have those linked if you want to go down a rabbit hole of cleansers but the indie lee rose hip cleanser is a really great like jelly rose hip infused cleanser that has a really nice like slip that it builds as you work in the water. The Trilogy Rose Hip Cream Cleanser. Trilogy actually just has a wonderful rose themed line. I loved their rose hip oil. I've used it a couple of times, repurchased. I love their toner. I wanna get it again. It's like rose and I think lavender and geranium mixed. It's a beautiful scent, very unique, especially in terms of like rose spritz. And they just have a whole like rose line. I really wanna explore more like they actually have a cleansing balm I really want to try. Anyways, this is a really great creamy, creamy hydrating cleanser. And then uh, the Benu Benu Hibiscus Camellia and Rose Clay cleansing balm. This guy is really a lovely, like rosy, hibiscus, citrus scented cleansing balm that I actually like to double up as like a moisturizing mask. It really like sinks in and hydrates really well. There we go. Oh, and my lip. Although that's like makeup leaning. This is the uh, YSL lip tattoo in, in Rosewood gang. So I thought that would be appropriate to, to actually wear a lipstick that had rose in the name and was rose-ish colored. If you have any like rose themed favorites that uh, I should know about, let me know. I have been really loving the different suggestions I've been getting from the various people that watch my videos, which is really awesome. Thank you for watching my videos. But I've been picking up a few of your guys' suggestions lately and I have been loving them. So if there's like any kind of rose themed thing that I should check out, let me know. Um, yeah, anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please toss it a like. That always helps me out to know what kind of content you like and it just like helps the, the video reach more people and subscribe if you enjoy 
this stuff and you're not already so alrighty I'll see you in uh, I'll see you in the next one bye